Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to teach you how to get an extra 20% runes when you farm runes. It's a crazy extra amount and I don't think anyone really talks about this because I only just discovered this myself. So if you want to learn that, watch this video. Let's go. So, when you just kill one Alvin Eric, we get a flat out 2044 runes. And that's great, right? This is of course on regular no new game plus first journey now if i add golden scarab obviously we're going to get an extra bit of runes so now we get 2452 runes that's an extra 20 percent for the golden scarab okay nice that's great and then if you add sacred scorpion charm And I personally add Ritual Swords Talisman, both to help get me more damage. When you kill the Alvin Eriks, just unusual, with just the Sacred Scarab, you get 2,452. Now the thing is that no one talks about is if you overkill them. So what that means is you do 150% of their health in one hit you get an extra 20%. So when I do that, which I use this for, this is just the example. I get 2,943 runes. So that's an extra 500 runes because of the overkill. So let's use this. Now, instead of 2,040, we're going to be getting a total of 3,826 runes. I don't think people realize how much of a game changer that is. Overkill is another way to add a great amount of runes. Without overkill, it's only 3,200. So that's an extra 600 runes that I'm getting overall just because I'm able to overkill them. And the best way to do that is A, you can obviously upgrade your faith and dex to help the scaling of the Sacred Relic Sword. But the actual skill, the Ashes of War, Wave of Gold, scales off of face because it's a holy attack. So, to upgrade that, you can use talismans like this one. Raise holy attack, but lower damage negation, the Sacred Scorpion Charge. That raises, raises your holy attack by, I believe, 15%. And then you have the Ritual Sword Talisman, which also raises your attack power when you're at maximum HP, which you should be because you're just farming. And obviously this one you need, and this, is, this is, doesn't matter. But if you still didn't get there, another way you can increase to get yourself up to that is you can use things like Flame Grant Me Strength, because this gives you a 20% buff in damage. And then you could also use Golden Vow to get even more damage. So let's say you really just didn't have enough. Now you should be able to do enough if you do all that stuff. Because now I'm doing 2,688 damage. They have 700. Okay, that did not show. 700. And there's 700. So they have about 1400 health ish, give or take. Right? So to overkill, you take 1400 times one and a half. And that is about 2000 ish. But I'm pretty sure they're like 1200 because I'm getting an extra 200. Because I've noticed that I get the overkill whenever I'm at about 1800 damage or more in one hit which you can easily get that with all the different stuff. And this is of course on regular game, where this is first journey, no new game plus. On new game plus, that amount to one and a half kill them is gonna go higher because their health goes higher as the new game plus goes up. So you have to keep that in mind, but also when you're new game plus, you're gonna be getting more runes to begin with. So it'll be an even higher number than what I'm getting here. Now, let's do some testing of the actual amount I'm getting. So if I go and put on my Sacred Relic Sword. And the most efficient way to farm is like this. So what you do, you get the first row right here. From about right here is where I go. You get all these guys, get that 2,900. Obviously I'm not using Gold Pickle Foul Foot. Then you use second right there, and then you quickly switch to your bow and shoot this bird right over here. 
and then he'll run off the edge, and then you get an extra 13,000. And that's when you're not using pal uh, the P Golden Pickle Foulfoot. So that's that, where it's just with the 40% extra from Overkill on the Alban Erics, and the extra 20% from the Golden Scarab. So that's 40%, and then if you use Golden Pickle Foulfoot, you're at 70%. So now I'm going to farm this for a little bit and show you how many runes you can get in just three minutes of grinding. So, I'm going to start the timer the minute that I take this and go. So, while I'm grinding, I'm going to talk about everything we know so far. So, when you kill it with nothing extra, you get 2,044 runes total for one Albanaric kill. When you kill it with Scarab, you get 2,452. Then you kill it with Scarab and Overkill, you get 2,943. And then when you do with just the Scarab and the Foot, you get 3,188. And lastly, when you do with the Scarab, Foot, and Overkill, you get 3,826. And with all those stats added, you get an extra 70% runes. And with all of that in my tests, I started with 274,828 runes, got to 921,921 runes, and that equated to about 215,697 runes per minute, or 12,941,860 runes per hour. So pretty much 13 million runes per hour. Now, I'm going to show you how to actually get to this spot, or at least talk about how to get to this spot if you have no idea how to. So, to get to this spot, it's obviously underground. But the quickest way to do it is through Vari's questline. So with Vari's questline, you have to invade three people after he gives you festered fingers. Yeah, bl or bloody fingers. You invade three people, kill those, you'll progress this thing, he'll give you a cloth, and then you have to dip it in Maiden's blood. And you can do that at, I believe it is this church right here. I don't, I don't remember, but there's, you look at where the closest maiden is and then you dip it in that the cloth in the maiden's blood then you go back to him he'll give you a thing it'll teleport you to underground about over here and then instead of going that way to go defeat mogwin you go this way run back and you will eventually get to this spot and find this grace which obviously this is the grace everyone knows about where the bird farm is and the albanaric farm that's just a little rundown on how to do that. Now, if you're thinking, this is great, but I don't really have the Sacred Relic Sword yet because I haven't beaten the game, then you're going to click this video right here where I teach you how to do it without the Sacred Relic Sword. So, go watch that now.